Westboro Baptist Church's critics and my critics essentially believe Barney Frank is a member of Westboro Baptist Church. This is certainly an absurd proposition. But the logic leads to that. Please follow the following argument. I'll make and show you this. Laird Wilcox and John George are two social science people who have studied extremists. They say one attribute of extremists is the inability to hold anything but black and white categories of the world. They say that extremists, when they change, don't change a little bit here or there. They change fully. What they believe is extremists hold things intensely and that's the only way they hold things. Of course, this applies to Westboro Baptist Church. They see the world as black and white. Nothing else. And this is how they project onto others. I wish I remember the guy who said it, or the gal who said it, but someone commented on some page and said, that Fred Phelps calls anyone who is in ripping off the heads of gays daily a gay enabler. Now that is an exaggeration, but the point is well taken. Fred Phelps and his crew don't literally rip off the heads of gay people. But what they do do is picket and sermonize constantly. So what they are arguing is all of those people out there who don't do exactly what they do to the full extent that they do are gay enablers. The prime example is the video they made calling Bush a gay pimp. It's an absurd proposition. Most people wouldn't consider Bush to be promoting homosexuality. George Bush doesn't take his anti-homosexuality to the same level that Westboro Baptist Church does. Nobody does. He is marginally against things of the homosexual agenda being a conservative Republican, but it's not good enough for them. And furthermore, what Fred Phelps is demanding of George Bush is to, instead of going in front of the nation talking about the economy, the state of the nation. What he needs to do is sermonize about the evils of sodomy. This is an absurd way to argue, isn't it? And that's how Westboro Baptist Church argues. Unless you're dedicating your whole existence to ridding the world of sodomy, you are a gay enabler. The critics of Westboro Baptist Church and the critics of me are no better. That's essentially the way they argue. That's the way you argue, many of you YouTubers out there. A lot of people like me have to tell people we're not members of their church. We're not supporters. Because a lot of people think if you're going after the truth, if you're saying, no, they don't do this, they don't do that, that means you're 100% supporter of their agenda. I see them in a very gray perspective. My predominant reaction to Westboro Baptist Church is fascination. But I've had a rainbow of reactions to what they've done. I've been puzzled. I have been disgusted on occasion. I have found them hilarious, humorous. I've admired their creativity. 
tons of different emotions. But it seems like everyone else has one emotion. They're 100% bad. It's pretty sad that anyone who goes after the truth is called a Westboro Baptist Church supporter. People like the dude on the right to be wrong net website who says they have the right to protest are considered supporters so I think it's really stupid that we have to defend that but that shows how black and white people think and Westboro Baptist Church sure the hell doesn't have a monopoly on black and white thinking the opponents are being the exact same I don't want to be like Westboro Baptist Church in this regard, nor like the opponents. Would you say Ron Paul is a supporter of Westboro Baptist Church? He must be a member, right? He was one of the three senators, the three congressmen, excuse me, who voted against that Fallen Soldiers Act, which prohibited funeral picketing within certain limits of national cemeteries. A lot of people would say if you support that, you're supporting funeral picketing. But I know enough about Ron Paul to know his agenda and his worldview is entirely different than Westboro Baptist Church. Just consider the homosexual issue. Ron Paul, as a strong libertarian, believes in no government intervention in anything. He believes let people do as they please except in cases of force and other rare examples. Thus, he doesn't agree that there should be the death penalty imposed on homosexuality and he also doesn't believe that gay marriage should be banned like West World Baptist Church believes it does. Guess who else voted against that bill? Barney Frank, who is gay. I don't really like the guy very much, and it has nothing to do with his sexuality. He's a dumbass Democrat, the leader of the stupid Democratic Party. He did have wise words. He said, whenever you allow for your speech, people are going to do obnoxious things with it. So if you say something like that, According to a lot of people out there, that means you're a supporter and a member of Westboro Baptist Church. So Barney Frank, the gay dude, is a member of Westboro Baptist Church? That's where your logic leads. And it's pretty dumbass logic.